Hey kids, welcome to the very first Kids Guide. We are so excited that you're here. This is going to be an awesome adventure because we're going to be coming to your house every single week on video. So get ready. So as we start off each video, we're going to have one segment that's going to be called Shout Out. What that means is that as we do these videos, you guys are going to see yourself on video. So as you do a hook or you interact with your family around our Big Truth for the Week, we're going to ask you guys to send pictures and videos, and we'll show that in this segment of Shout Out. But for our first one, we have a little bit of a surprise guest. Hey guys, my name is Miss Becca. You'll usually find me teaching in the preschool hall, but for VBS this year, I got to step behind the camera. And I'd like to share with you guys some behind the scenes footage from VBS. Woo! Woo! I like some evil and sin. <laughs> And we're already on Thursday. Oh. Uh, all right, ready? Yeah. No. I, don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm running out of ideas. Wrap up. Oh! <laughs> Pastor Austin here, and I am so excited that this week begins a brand new series. In fact, we're kicking off our entire year of walking through what we call the story, and that's creation, fall, redemption, and new creation. You can even see that represented by the sign behind me. So where we begin? We begin with creation. So this week kicks off a brand new series of creation. And over the next nine weeks, we're going to talk about, I'm going to learn together, nine big truths that have to do with creation. So we know that God created everything, everything that we see and everything that we hear and everything that we taste and we touch, God created it all. And God created it perfectly. He is the perfect creator. In fact, we're going to learn about how God created you and he created me and that we are created in his image. So buckle up, get ready. It's going to be an awesome time over the next nine weeks as we walk through the series of creation. So we have our first big truth for this week. Are you ready? Our big truth this week is God is the creator. God is the creator. In fact, let's do this together to kind of help us memorize that big truth for this week. I'm going to say, who is the creator? And you guys at home are going to say, God is the creator. You ready? Who is the creator? That's right. God is the creator. Want to do it again? Who is the creator? Yeah, God is the creator. So we're learning this week, God is the creator. He is the creator of everything. Where does that come from? Well, it comes from our Bible verse for the week. Our Bible verse for the week is found in the book of John chapter 1, verses 2 through 4, and it says this, He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. So this is the beginning of the book of John, and it's talking about Jesus, and it also says that Jesus was there at the very beginning of the creation of all things, that God is the creator. So let's read that again. John chapter 1, verses 2 through 4, our Bible verse for this week says this, He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. So what does this verse teach us about? It teaches us that God is the creator. 
So we have four big ideas that help us kind of unpack and learn a little bit more about this big truth. So here's what I want you to do. We're going to walk through these four big ideas together, and I need your help at home. So you need to make sure your family's with you because we're going to do this together. We're going to learn this together. We have four big ideas that help us learn a little bit more about who is God and that God is the creator. So number one, God is the first. So put your finger up like that and say, God is the first. That's right. God is the first. There is no one before him. God is the first. So that's our first big idea. God is the first. Our second big idea is God created from nothing. So you can do that together. God created from nothing. Nothing. God needed nothing in order to be able to create. He took nothing and he created everything. That's pretty incredible. So God is the first. God created nothing. Here's our third big idea. God spoke and it was the word. Can you do those emotions together? God spoke and it was the word. So when God spoke, that's what we have. We have the Bible. That is the living word of God that God breathed, the Bible says, and he spoke and that became the word. So do you think you can remember the first three? God is the first. God created from nothing. God spoke and it was the word. And here's our last big idea. Our last big idea that helps us understand a little bit more that God is the creator is that God created all things. God created all things. Everything that we see, that we hear, that we touch, that we smell, that we taste, God created. He created all things. So let's see if you can do those motions together for our four big ideas for this week. God is the first. That's exactly right. God created from nothing. God spoke and it was the word. And then God created all things. So we're learning this week that God is the creator. So let me ask you, where do you think we would go in the Bible to find out the very beginning of all things, the very beginning of our story of creation? If you said Genesis chapter 1, that's exactly right. And that's where our Bible story is found this week. It's in Genesis chapter 1. It's the beginning of all things. Every good book has a beginning. And our book, God's Word, gives us the very beginning of all things. And it's found in the book of Genesis chapter 1. So I encourage you families, take out your Bibles this week. Look at Genesis chapter 1 and look how God created all things. And the very beginning of all things is where we find that um, in Genesis chapter 1. So that's our Bible story for this week. Take a look at that. Read it together as a family. So last thing, I've got a little object here. You might have already kind of spied it. But I've got a, a pool ring. So it's pretty colorful. So I thought that it'd be fun to give Pastor Austin some bright, uh, girly colors. Um, so we've got a pool ring here. So if you see and you look at this ring, I want you to look at it and see, can you find the beginning or find the end of it? Look around. See if you can find a beginning point or an ending point. I'm, I'm not really sure. I see a couple of things, um, like a flotation. Uh, it's not a flotation device kind of tag. But I really don't see a beginning or an end on this pool ring. In fact, you can take any circular thing, a ring or anything else, a ball, and see if you can find a beginning or an ending point. And that kind of reminds us, um, as we look at something that's circular, that's round, that has no beginning and has no end, it reminds us that that's who God is. God is the beginning and the end. There is no one before him and there is no one after him. That's who God is. God is the creator. So let that be a reminder for you this week as you talk about the big truth, God is the creator. Hey, I'm so excited to be on this journey with you as we talk about creation over the next nine weeks. So stay tuned as we have another big truth next week. And then of course, coming up right now, we have Mr. Brandon with our home hook. Hey families, Mr. Brandon here. And each week I will be taking you through one of the hooks from our guide or our family devotion. The aim of these hooks is to help each child know more about God's word, begin to feel an affection for and an awe of who God is, want to know more about God and 
begin a personal relationship with him and do things that, for God that bring him glory. For this week's hook, Mom and Dad, I need you to go to our resources page and print out two pictures, two pages of pictures just like this, um, and cut those out. You can pause the video uh, and do that right now. As Pastor Austin just talked about, our big truth for this week is God is created. One of our big ideas is God created everything. And we're going to learn more about that today through a scavenger. So what I want, Mom and Dad, what I want you to do is take those pictures and hide them around the house or a specific room. You're going to have pictures of man-made items and pictures of things that God created. Once you've got all those pictures hidden, have the kids go find the pictures of just the things that God created. And then have a discussion about um, the difference between the two. Talk about how good the things are that God created. I hope you guys enjoy this activity this week, and we want to see more. So while you're while you're doing this activity, take some pictures, shoot a video, and email them to shoutout at tcbchurch.org, and maybe you'll show up in the video for next week. See you next week. Thanks. Next up is Miss Kim with her Go Chow. Hello boys and girls, I am Miss Kim and I have been in the elementary uh, student ministry now for about six plus years and I am going to be talking with you each week about something that is so near and dear to my heart. God, Jesus, and missions. Each week we will be uh, closing out with a Go Challenge. So let me break it down for you so you can understand and prepare. Go is, that means that we are actually going to move and we are going to be doing something. And then challenge, challenge means that we are going to make an effort and we're going to take some actions. So you got this, we are going to do something and we are going to take action. We are going to make Jesus known. And here's an example in the Bible. God calls the prophet Isaiah and Isaiah responds, by going and taking action. In Isaiah 6, 8, the Bible says, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, that was Isaiah, Here I am, send me. Boys and girls, God is calling us too. Now, you ask yourself, What can I do this week to make Jesus known? Well, there's a couple of things. First, you can tell. You can tell someone that doesn't know God that God is creator. God created everything from nothing. You know, and for that reason, he is worthy to be praised and worshiped. Also, we can pray for friends and family and neighbors, for people that don't know God. Call out their name. He hears our prayers. Lastly, we can pray for our many families that are in our church that are on mission. Just like Isaiah, they said yes, and they're spreading the gospel of the good news around the world. So see, I hope you can take it and accept this Go Challenge. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. See you then. Let's end in prayer. God, please let all the people that don't know you learn that they are made by you and created to love you and give you glory. Help me show my friends and family and neighbors that they are made by you and you love them. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye.